Spork's excited, folks. You want to know why? Tell him why, Spork. Ah! Yeah. Ah! The millionth time in this series, you're going to hear me say, it's finally really coming together. Nice little Instagram spot. This is awesome. I'm really happy about that. As you can see here, the herb garden is in full effect. If I can find somebody to rent the house to help me recoup the cost, just like a friend or somebody on the island locally, just man to man, not, not like a Airbnb or as a hotel or anything. The house was proposed to be finished in seven weeks. It took eight months to finish this bastard, but it's done. So let me give you guys a small, a small tour. We'll do a full house tour. Morning folks from the house that will never be finished. I'm joking. I really smell, <clears throat> I really smell the finish line. We're, we're right about at the end here. I'll show you guys the pergola is done and it looks super nice. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm having a little bit of an issue here with the washing machine. There's a leak in this pipe, um, which kind of sucks, but yeah, Jeff is just putting up the laundry line right now. So basically you can put your laundry up here and it'll hopefully dry. I think that this line might be a little bit close to the edge, but these two should keep laundry just fine and dandy and dry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So now that the pergola is done, the water pressure tank and the, uh, air, the water filter, or not the water filter, the uh, water pump are safe. We need to replace and paint over this. And you got to replace all these things that have gotten rusty over the course of the last two months that it's been outside. Um, and just clean this up a little bit more just to keep it protected 100%. And as well, we're going to try to extend this concrete a little bit. But I'll watch this over the course of the next few days when it rains. And we'll see if it doesn't get rained on. There's not too much of a reason to replace it. But I imagine during the really heavy rains, it's right on the edge. I think it will get pretty wet in here. Um, so let's see. But yeah, we have this giant area to work with pretty much. So we might just concrete right next to here or somewhere here. And then we'll just be able to have the, uh, the washing machine there. But this pergola being finished sets us up for basically the last thing that we need to do, which is replace these posts. Everything else is super secondary. The herb bed is definitely way too big to fit in here right now. So we're going to have to make this a little bit smaller, I think. Um, but I'll definitely try to push to see if we can put it in here somewhere. I don't think I don't see really a place where we could put it in. Um, we'll just make this a little bit smaller so we can put our herbs inside. So it's nice and covered. But yeah, that's it. And then yard cleanup it's a few days of work continue getting rid of all this trash that's back here organize the wood maybe 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 plant a little bit more grass which would take a day or two and we're uh we're in business baby the millionth time in this series you're gonna hear me say it's finally really coming together because <laughs> it really is coming together we've got some amazing uh progress today we finally moved the uh, flower bed out of here um so we can see it actually fits perfectly the uh, herb rack right here. So tomorrow what we're going to do is we're just going to level this out so it's sitting more level because right now part of it's on the septic tank, part of it's in the dirt. We're going to level this out tomorrow and then all the herbs will go in here and then we can move even the laundry lines a little bit more to the right so we can hang our laundry here. But we've got plenty of space to hang the laundry here and hopefully this will give us enough space to also move the washing machine here and even make a little bit of a walkway here. It may just make sense to cement all of this over here because it's uh since there's so many bits of cement already here but maybe we'll just do that in the future who knows but we've it's so nice we finally reclaimed this area again so it's nice and open because that flower bed was sitting here for like around a week or the herb bed i keep saying flower bed anyways they've made some amazing progress they've already installed this post half of it so tomorrow they're going to install the other half of the post and then fill out the concrete here Jeff already finished the concrete here as well. It's already level, so the last part of that is gonna be just to smooth it out. And then tomorrow morning, they're gonna begin cracking at the last post. Probably half a day in, it'll be done, finished, and removed. And they can already start putting in the last rebar and post in there. Uh, amazing, amazing progress. We're, we're nearly done here. So we've got one last day of construction here for the week. And then, yeah, I'm very excited because I've had these uh, beautiful red cushions in the house just sitting on the sofa and i'm happy i can finally move all these plants 
uh, into the place where they need to be, which is back there, not here. Actually, I might do that right now just to get a good look at what it's going to look like because these plants shouldn't be here anyways. <laughs> See you, brother. See you tomorrow. So we move these in the back now. We're going to move the, the dill, the, the cilantro, the parsley. My cilantro got really flooded. This is the second time this has happened to me. I don't. I just don't think cilantro is going to work for me on this island. Every time I try to grow the cilantro here, it just does not work. And it's full of chicken manure. So it smells like poop. Yeah, the parsley. It just starts, it starts rotting and I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I guess I don't know how to propagate herbs. I'm also just buying them from the market. So that could be a good explanation as to why it's not working. But yeah, maybe cilantro. It's just not going to be one of the herbs we can grow here. But hey, we got basil, we got mint, we got dill, we got lemongrass. We have more than enough plants to keep someone happy in this house. Now I can finally move them away from the rain and they can get the rain that they're gonna get the cover that they finally need, which means I can have a controlled amount of water hitting them every day. That's been the main issue with those plants sitting there for the last almost month now. It's that every time it rains heavy downpour, it rains all over them. Now we've got this beautiful, beautiful covered area. The herbs can sit there receive just amount the just the right amount of sun they need to and i can control how much water will touch them every single day so let's move some herbs in there these were the two little red cushions now on lazada it said they were waterproof i doubt it they do not look waterproof at all they don't even look water resistant but uh we'll try we'll leave them out in the rain we'll see worst case they just end up smelling they, they weren't even that expensive they were like 130 pesos a pop so for the size of the cushions, I'm very happy with them. I just put some cacti in here. Some nice little cactuses. See, this is, this is what I enjoy about building a house. A little bit of the furnishing. A little bit of the finishing. Oh, this would be nice and comfortable as long as you don't touch the cactus when you sit. Oh, come on. That's cute as fuck. <laughs> that's cute as fuck. My editor might need to bleep that out. That is, that's adorable. That's about the cutest thing I've ever seen in Santa Fe. Look at that. Come and take a little, oh, come on. You're not even touching the cactus. Nice little Instagram spot. This is awesome. Well, that came together really nicely. I'm really happy about that. Love it. That's so cute. I needed a little sitting area for outside anyways. And since the internet connection right now only about reaches around here, it kind of stops around this area. This is a perfect spot because I think you'll be able to tether internet from the inside of the house right there in the future. So many things I'd like to do in the future. Uh, I'll probably connect little extenders for the Wi-Fi, just in different spots in the outside of the house as well. So you have internet connection on the outside. As you can see here, the herb garden is in full effect out of all the plants that dill has done the best and that's because it grows wild in Shargao. actually you can find it almost all over the place in Shargao. um so the dill is doing really well the uh you know i'm looking at this right now these two dills look a little bit different but i think this one's just a little more full grown the celery is done amazing the lemongrass looks like it's kind of dying but Oh, it smells so good. God, it's amazing. Um, the mint here, I think, will be okay. This one might be far too gone. This basil and this basil might be far too gone. But I have a little bit of hope with this one, if, even though I'm not 100% sure that that's basil. This basil is going to be all right. So now that I can control the amount of water that comes in here, they'll only get a little bit side splash from the rain most of the time. But now they're going to get heat for most of the day. But it'll be protected by this roof and won't be full, full heat. Um... For most of the day they'll have sun and they will be protected from the elements that bother them i'm very happy this is so great what a wonderful end of the day it's really just like organizing now like the house just needs to be a little bit organized like this backyard is atrocious i'm really hoping from monday from monday till friday next week i'm going to be working ruthlessly on this backyard and be organizing all this wood i'm going to burn all this trash as much trash as i can get burnt and finished without it 
causing massive pollution to planet Earth, but you can see I have been burning a lot here. I'm gonna organize these chicken cages, might even move them to the backyard there, try to make a few more chicken boxes there to hold the, uh, the roosters, and just really organize all this area. This area needs to be organized. So this can start being nice and clean. And I might even go ahead and take the task of painting this wall myself. I need to paint the outside of the shed. I'm not sure which color I'm gonna do yet, but um, next week, other than surfing, working on YouTube videos and working on the house, I'm doing nothing else. It's just work, 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 work. I'm going hard. I've kind of let myself the last two weeks enjoy life a little bit and surf and skate and not be so on top of the house because I wanted to get back to my life. But uh, next week, I'm hitting hard. Starting Monday, I'm, I mean, probably starting before Monday, I'm going to be here every single day. I'm organizing, 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 making sure this house looks great. But I'm so happy. This pergola area is awesome. It's so cool. I love this see-through roof. It's so cool. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I freaking love it super cool and i will say i've dropped you guys the idea i got inspired the other day to maybe turn the tuk-tuk into an off-roading tuk-tuk i have been getting quotes from mechanics from welding shops i've been looking into it i'm not saying it's happening because it's gonna cost a pretty penny um but i got the tuk-tuk out of the hole that it's been sitting in i've been taking stock of the damage what needs to be fixed there's a chance. I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure, but I know how many people love this tuk-tuk. Not just my friends on the island, but also people who watch my videos. How much you guys love the tuk-tuk. What will for sure happen is that it's not going to be reincarnated as the Jurassic Park tuk-tuk. I think that's over for branding reasons too. I can't be doing that, but probably the tiny house uh, tuk-tuk it will be. Um, and it looks like we're going to... If If this goes through, if this happens, I'll be welding it almost completely turning it almost into like a car um and really taking care of the interior to make it look very nice and feel very nice and yeah i'm i'm excited guys a lot of things happening super cool super exciting so i had genuinely no idea where we ended the last house building episode but we've got an issue as there always is with this house oh man i also caught a little bit of a cold over the weekend but you know we Working hard, we got all this done. This area is really coming along together. We're, uh, we're basically, we have one more job for this area where we're going to extend the washing machine area a little bit with cement. I really would like to just close this whole area with cement. It'd be so much nicer. But I've moved the little chickity dickities out here. So we got a proper little agricultural area. Uh, but yeah, as, as things go with this house, this cement post, A-OK. -okay. This cement post, A-OK. -okay. This cement post, the way that this flooring area was done by the team that did it, first of all, they made this area into a pool. So this is not even leveled. It's literally got a, a concave in the middle, which is horrible, and it means it floods if too much water gets in here, which is very bad. But not only that, they didn't do this area straight. So basically, the post, we had two options now. It's either we have to extend all the concrete from here to there just to make it line up or we have to put the post on an angle so we talked a little bit about it so now we've got another job for the week the never-ending construction of this house where we basically have to extend the flooring of this from this edge all the way down there just so the post at least looks normal um and yeah it's like it's really, it's really been disappointing throughout the process of working with Jeff, finding out how much other things that the other team screwed up and just were willing to like leave and like took no accountability over. Really, really annoying and so disappointing. It's been a constant, it's been a constant theme of like every, every week or so, every two weeks, we find out something else that they did really badly um, and just charge me so much money for it. But as is, there's no point in getting too sad about it or angry about it. It is what it is. It's already happened. So that's, uh, that's our progress for this week. That's what we're going to be working on. It's pretty much one last thing. It's finishing this post and leveling it out uh, and doing that little concrete floor. I don't even foresee us really working through till Saturday. I think all this work will probably be done in the next couple of days. Maybe two, three more days. It's Monday today. So hopefully we can get it done. So let's crack it on. All right. So if I wasn't clear enough earlier on what needs to be fixed here, this is the situation. Basically... Not only did they mess up the floor when they made it here, making it into a pool, but they didn't actually make this correctly. And so 
it's like it's, it's a two-part issue because the wood that was here was slightly slanted so basically the angle of the wood that went into the ground they shaped the concrete slab around that but besides that which is not really an excuse because he should have made it straight in the first place they just didn't they didn't even make this like a right angle so it was missing a lot of concrete so jeff is filling it out right now and then hopefully once this stuff dries in a couple days we'll be able to smooth it out and color match it a little bit because you can see in all three areas we've got these big sort of areas that are a different color and they've been getting brighter as each day goes by you can see the shades are getting a little bit brighter here so we have this one and that one and the third one which will be the biggest one but uh relatively quick job to get this done by the end of the day today it should be semi ready Spork's excited, folks. You want to know why? Tell him why, Spork. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Tell him again. Ah! Woo -hoo! Ah! Yeah. Okay. All right. Sit. Sit. Hey. Still. Sit. 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 Good boy. Spork's excited because it looks like today, A, might actually be the last day of construction on the tiny house. I need a preface with saying that, you know, there's always a chance that there's going to be things that we need to improve in the future, especially within the next year or so. It's going to become very apparent what else was done wrong in the construction of this house, and then I'll probably know what I need to fix. But for all intents and purposes, it looks like today's the last day. Jeff didn't even come with a partner today. He came completely by himself. He's doing the last bit of work that we have left to do. And it's some very, very simple stuff. You can see he poured out some of the leftover concrete we had yesterday with these molds. He's building a piping now for the washing machine so we can just connect this tube in here and then all the water can be drained out into the septic tank. So he's gonna drill a hole in the septic tank. This has all been done and it's been working amazingly. Actually, the washing machine doesn't even get wet, but just as a precaution, we made a little bit more extra space so the washing machine can sit here. And we're also gonna fill the rest of this area out with concrete. So pretty much Spork will have his area back here because I figure if I ever rent out this place in the future, it doesn't make sense for Spork to be sleeping in the kitchen and eating in the kitchen. It's probably not something that you want as a guest unless you really love dogs, but then that's up to you. Um, so maybe even in the future, I might build Spork a little roof there, just like a little dog house or something. But for now, he'll just have his little area back here as protector of the chickens. Um, that's it. Other than that, this has been fully finished yesterday. It pretty much needs maybe another couple hours to dry. And then we're going to remove the moldings from here. And then it's just need, it just needs to air dry. But that's all done. This is all done. Support beam's all done. Um, we really have one last thing. That's a bonus mission that Jeff's going to be able to finish in probably a few minutes. And I just don't want to do it myself because... Yeah, I've never really power drilled through concrete and I feel like I'll fuck it up, so I don't really want to. I bought this awesome surfboard from a friend of mine yesterday, and I think it's just one of the most beautiful boards I've ever seen. I can't ride it. It's a 5'5 five five fish. I'm way too big for it and definitely not skilled enough to ride it, but I figured it would be an amazing piece to put up in the house. Originally, I thought it could sit up here, but since we already have a surfboard up here, um, I was thinking just right here, it'll blend in kind of with all the plants and stuff and add a little bit more green to this area. So he's going to basically make a little drill hole here and there's going to be a surfboard sitting right here. Well, this surfboard sitting right there and it's going to be super cool. I'm really, really excited about that. But again, folks, after that, I, like I have things that I want to do. For example, this week when Jeff leaves and he's done, I, I might even do it today at some point or tomorrow. I'm going to varnish the top of this thing. And, and clear it up. But I can do that all by myself with a paintbrush. I don't need to do that with anybody else. Um, I can just do that all, my, all on my own. 
there's obviously some painting and stuff that needs to be done but it looks like we're gonna put a hold on everything for now and just keep it as it is we'll do all the waterproofing for the shed in the future at some point anyways everything that's in there can kind of get wet at the moment so yeah it looks like this might be officially the last day of construction on the tiny house i'll update you guys as this is a momentous occasion and i'm very excited for it and we'll see uh we'll see what jeff is able to get done today but yeah and other than that also one kind of like last bonus mission we ordered a mini dam of black sand which is these pebbled rocks that we put on top of this walkway path and you also use it to bind cement in and we have kind of a lot left over um like we have actually a ton left over so that means if we ever have any future projects that we need concrete for i'll already have kind of a good base to work with um especially if it's little things to do with concrete so jeff is uh one of his missions for the end of the day today if he can get it all done is to bag all of that up and move it to the back of the house here where we're kind of going to organize the garden so hopefully he'll be able to bag all that black sand up and just line it up across here in the back and yeah like i said the next mission is once all this is done and cleared we're going to really start working on cleaning up this yard we've already done an amazing job with the trash just in the last couple of days like we've really progressed in cleaning up this trash most of what's left here most of is just organic debris which uh you know we can figure out a way to compost it or dig another hole in the ground and throw it all in because all that stuff is going to be gone away anyways or we might even just toss it here because this is like jungle debris um obviously this all needs to be organized but uh yeah we're really progressing here for the final day of construction it's gonna be weird like i might have a good week before i leave the country it'll be weird like being here and not having jeff here construction even once i moved here i've been living in the house for over a month now we've had constant construction going on pretty much every day um so i haven't really gotten to experience living in this house yet without somebody working in it but the idea is in the moment the plan is once this is all done and like all these moldings are done like they can be taken off for the concrete i'm going to open up all the blinds and if we have some half decent weather today i'm going to be taking some professional level photos of the entire house and putting it up as an available option to rent to people for the next two three months um because it really does look like i'm going to be leaving the philippines for a couple months to travel obviously i can't leave the house for too long because i have to come back and tend to it um and we're really i'm really not set up yet with this house to be able to leave it for a long time we're just not there yet um but yeah if i can uh if i can find somebody to rent the house to help me recoup the cost just like a friend or somebody on the island locally just man to man not, not like a airbnb or as a hotel or anything just very very low-key rental right now if i can find somebody to rent that out it'll help me recoup some costs of construction for the last couple months just a little bit not not that much like i think even one month's rent from what i'm thinking the charge will not recoup even one month of construction um but if i can find somebody to rent this place out just for a little while while i'm gone and then be able to come back here when i'm back in the country would be really great some other notes and stuff that I, I really want to get done, but I'm actually, I've been uh, strategically waiting till I get the photos done. You know, the, the grass in the yard is being overeaten, like the Bermuda grass is being overeaten by the, the carabao grass. And what you need is uh, somebody like a caretaker to be constantly tending to this. And I have a caretaker, an amazing caretaker, who does tend to my yard and takes care of my stuff. What is this tree? I'm just noting this plants shooting out of the ground. Oh, shoot. Are these chilies? Oh my god, is this a chili plant? When did you grow? Wait, there's no way. Oh no, those aren't chilies. What is this? It's like a leaf that's... That's super weird. And it's just hanging low. That's very strange. I got excited for a second. I thought it was a chili. Um, the, the idea, the plan, the goal, what we want to try to do is we're going to have a constant... Uh, person so Ate who clears the yard just to cut out all this carabao grass and all the weeds that are growing here so we can actually have the bermuda grow out properly the caveat with it is during the process of cleaning this yard all of a sudden the yard is going to look patchy again um because it means like all these areas that are covered in green right now they're going to be going back to being brown dirt so i may 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 just right before i leave try to fill out all the patches but what i'm going to try to do is now just in case once this is all done you see jeff is removing the post right now i'm going to try to do some best pictures possible of the house 
really just try to get the house looking really, really nice, edit them up in Photoshop, try to make it look as appealing as possible. And only then will I ask Ate to clean up all of the invasive grass, the grass that we don't want. And then I'll, then I'll do a proper calculation of how much Bermuda grass we need and maybe order like 500 to 600 pieces to fill out the entire yard. Because now that we don't have construction going on anymore, this area is completely open for me to use. That area will be open and I'd really like it for when you come in here. I mean, ideally for me, I'd like Bermuda grass all the way to here, but since we have a gate, it's probably gonna be eaten up. Um, but ideally for me, you walk in and I just want you to see tons of green. Like I want there to be green everywhere. And for me, I'm, I'm even more down to like bring more banana trees out here if I can. Get a few more banana trees growing. They're so easy to transplant. These, these plants are the hardiest plants I've ever worked with ever. Like they literally just don't die. I've moved this one four times now and it, it just keeps sprouting new leaves. It's amazing. Um, so I, I might even want to line more banana trees just to make this like, because they're so cheap and they grow everywhere and people just give them out for free. Like nobody cares about them. They're completely valueless here. So I, ideally, I'd like to just plant tons of banana trees across the side of the fence so I don't have to hire the fence and it just makes a natural barrier. But again, this is stuff that it, it, this is stuff that can all be done in a day's work. Very, very easy to get. The banana trees are easy to get. The, the, help, the help to actually plant the banana trees will be super easy to get done. I could probably even do most of it myself. And then we need to clear all this out first before we do that. But yeah, I think uh, in the matter of days... If I can really clean out this yard and like make it look the way that I want to with the grass, I think the house is gonna be looking really dapper, real cute. But I mean, she's already looking real good. She's already looking amazing. It's a tiny house shark out, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, let's see, I'm, I'm really excited. As you can tell, last day of construction, I want this to be over with. I'm excited to move on to a different chapter of my life and not be dealing with construction constantly. So hopefully we can get all this done today. And move on. Jeff and I just measured the exact uh, spot for the drill. So he's gonna make a little insertion into the wall. Drill a little bit of that concrete. Right into the bathroom wall. All right, with a simple nail inserted into the wall, Jeff is now gonna balance it. Maybe I'll just hold it for you, or it's okay to put, he puts the nail in there. So that's pretty much what it's gonna sit on. And we're gonna try to make it more secure by having it uh, attached at another point at the top um, so it doesn't come loose. You know, there's little things like earthquakes that you need to think about that will jitter the whole house around and it doesn't happen. They're not very major, but for example, that one is nailed into the wall. This one, I want, I don't want to nail it in because I don't want it to be a permanent thing in the wall, you know, like, and maybe even switch it out with another surfboard in the future. Oh, Jeff is marking at the top. What, you put two, two nails, two lansang in the top also? Yes, sir. Okay, now. I got it. Yeah, cool. So then the two nails there will be curved a little bit so it can't move. And then we're gonna have a nice little piece, super easy. Very, very nicely done. And there's the final look at you do. I freaking love it. I think there's gonna be the lava lamp here and then my plant that I'm gonna bring back in here. So much green in this corner, it's gonna be sick. This is super, super cool. My friends and my folks, I just finished a wonderful little surf session here in Santa Fe, General Luna. And just like that, Jeff is gone because the house is done. The date today is February 28th, 2023. I believe it's the 28th or the 27th of February. Last day of Feb. We started October 2021. October, November, December. Pause for around a year. Then we got October, November, December, January, February. That is eight months. The house was proposed to be finished in seven weeks. Eight months. It took eight months to finish this bastard, but it's done. I have so many things that I learned and so many lessons to tell you guys and so many things to just like share with the world about the construction of this house. 
but I'm beyond happy with where we're at with it. I love the way that it looks. It is pretty much, in theory, my dream tiny house. If I could imagine one, it's, it's, it's the dream alive, you know? And we're having this beautiful, gorgeous sunset. Everything's all pink right now. It's so awesome. <laughs> Look at this. What a beautiful mark. It literally looks red. Spork. Spork, we finished the house, Spork. You weren't here for the beginning, buddy. You moved in, in the middle. You're not, I don't know, you're not even a real OG. But that's it, it's done. So let me give you guys a small, a small tour. We'll do a full house tour soon. I'm gonna clean up everything and make it look all nice. We'll do a full house tour starting in the back here. The lots of triangle, the edge of the lot back here. We got the chicken cage, the chicken resort. Walking through, we got the beautiful view of the house. We've got the Instagram hotspot right down here. This is the, the cushion chair with cacti and a bunch of plants. We got orchids coming out. We got a surf rack out there. If you follow the path down this way, we got the entrance to the house that's covered with tigbao curtains. Just right out here, you've got a little bit of a foot bath so you can clean your little footsies before you walk in, especially if they're sandy. Makes sense. You've been to the beach or you've been surfing. Here we are. Here's the house, folks. The tiny house shark out. Here's our beautiful kitchen, fully equipped with all the appliances you could ever want. Everything you possibly ask for, air fryers, rice cookers, toasters, refrigerators. We've got a full oven. We've got a stove. We've got everything you need. And we got so much more details to go through here. But that's our kitchen. Inside the house, I'm a little bit messy. I apologize. You've got it decored out with nature in mind. The Middle East. A lot of office space. <laughs> lot. Got a beautiful bathroom. Inspired by elements of the Middle East as well. Just gorgeous and a musical corner with a little bit of surf speed because you know we're on an island coming upstairs we've got where the magic happens we've got everything you could ever ask for beautiful bedroom with a beautiful design dig about cladding in a full closet plants white browns wood everything you want in the interior of the house. But wait, there's more. If we exit the kitchen, going this way, we'll take you to our pergola section, our side yard, where you've got a full seven kilo automatic washing machine. You've got clothes drying area with UV rated, I'm, I can't back that up, I don't know if it's UV rated, I don't know what it is, it's, it's a see-through, seen roof which means you can dry your clothes no matter the weather conditions and of course some baby chickens not, not included in the house <laughs> sorry but you do have a vegetable garden that's in progress basil mint lemongrass celery dill make a salad we don't care here at the tiny house and fully equipped shed for all your needs and desires the tiny house shark out folks it's officially done that's it. I feel, uh, I don't, there's no words to explain this feeling. It's truly remarkable. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to be moving on to something else. I'm excited that it's done. I'm excited to meet the person who ends up renting this house for the first time. I'm excited to see what people and how people enjoy this house and how they use it. And yeah, it's, it's just very, it's all very exciting. But that's it, folks. The end of a journey. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.